from New York. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. I wanted to play this audio last night. Um, Anderson Cooper from CNN. He said some, uh, he said some amazing words from, uh, about the people of Haiti. Check this out. But let me be clear tonight. The people of Haiti have been through more. They've been through more. They've withstood more. They fought back against more injustice than our president ever has. Tomorrow marks exactly eight years since the earthquake struck Haiti. Would be today. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake killed anywhere between 220,000 and 300,000 people. The actual numbers will never be known because they were buried in unmarked pits. One and a half million people were displaced. For days and weeks without help from their own government or police, the people of Haiti dug through rubble with their bare and bloodied hands to save complete strangers, guided only by the cries of the wounded and the dying. I was there when a young girl named B, who'd been trapped in rubble for nearly a day, was rescued by people who had no heavy equipment. They just had their God-given strength and their determination and their courage. I was there when a five-year-old boy named Monley was rescued after being buried for more than seven days. Do you know what strength it takes to survive on rainwater buried under concrete? A five-year-old boy buried for seven days. Haitians slap your hand hard when they shake it. They look you in the eye. They don't blink. They stand tall and they have dignity. It's a dignity many in this White House could learn from. It's a dignity the president, with all his money and all his power, could learn from as well. On the anniversary of the earthquake, on this day when this president has said what he has said about Haitians, we hope the people in Haiti who are listening tonight in Port-au-Prince, in Jacmel, in Benet, in Miami and elsewhere, we hope they know that our thoughts are with them and that our love is with them as well. That was amazing. Nice moment. That was nice. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, he couldn't have said it better. It was just really touching just to hear it again. I heard it last night, and I thought it was so important that, that we just remind people, the immigrants that come here, that sacrifice so much, our parents, our friends, our loved ones, the people that serve us every day you know that deliver our food that fix our cars a bunch we do appreciate them you know these are our people these are our friends our family members our loved ones our co-workers so it was really important for me to play that because last night when i heard it you know it, it touched me but today hearing it again it just reminds me of the strength of the people and how we must continue to remind people how much we love them and we believe in them. And to me, this is the American dream. This is why my parents, immigrants, Guatemalan immigrants came here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry guys, I just need a minute. Nah, have your moment, kid. Everybody has one. Yeah. And the combination, the timing of this is just unbelievable like we said i didn't i didn't even know last night that we were on the eve of the uh anniversary mm -hmm. so the double whammy seems is, strategic well it's well it definitely seems interesting yeah mm -hmm. the breakdown stay on your square i'm gonna break you down break you down break you down remind you what your place is supposed to be don't let them break you down 